What's going on YouTube? This is Kaz with Perfumes by Genesis, AKA PBG. Welcome to another one of my videos. I'm back again, guys. You might see I'm wearing the same blazer, but I just wanted to give you guys, um, yet again, another video of my scent of the day. Um, so yeah, my previous video, shouts out to Mr. Oswald Paré and Olfactive, sorry, Motif Olfactif. And uh, now we're gonna talk about a nice fragrance that I've been wearing that same day and I'm bringing it to you guys in a separate video. But before I begin, for those of you who know or may not know, I usually like to start off with a quick prayer. Feel free to skip ahead to the beginning of the video. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. For those staying, let's dive in. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for my viewers. Thank you for, your, for their lives. Thank you for this planet, Lord. Thank you for all the things that you have provided to us. Father, I ask for your uh, protection and your grace as we weather the storms of our current time. We weather the storm of COVID-19. We weather the storm of just racial injustice. Lord, help us to make this world a better place. Help us to bring your healing, reconciliation, and justice to this world so we can live together as peace and as people. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, so today's video is going to be about a nice fragrance, a summertime spring fragrance from the house of Burberry. That's going to be called Burberry Touch. Here's what the Burberry Touch box comes in. It's like a nice um, kind of Burberry design. It's just a paper box, but it has the Burberry design all around the box, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the 100 ml. You can see all the information there on the box. Okay, but we don't really care too much about the box. The, the box is cool, but you know, I've been saving it for this video so I can actually finally get rid of it now. <laughs> but um, it opens up, you know, remember like those old uh, mail letters that open up with a little string here. So I'm just gonna open it up and show you guys. Since this is not a box that I care too much to keep, um, unfortunately I'm going to have to. Um... Okay, so here is the Burberry Touch bottle, guys. Fingerprint magnet, but who cares? So I'm gonna get a little close so you can see the little details and Aside from that, the cap is this nice like wooden peg. Um, is this real wood all the way? No, it's just wood on the outside. I think the, the middle is probably like a plastic thing or whatever, but it's a nice touch. No pun intended. Um, so yeah, the cap goes on snugly. Okay, I'm really satisfied with how it does. I don't feel comfortable enough picking it up by the cap though because of just, I mean, it's snug, but it's not like a click or anything like that, but anyway. Let's stop delaying. I'm gonna show you guys the atomizer. Nice mist. Okay, that's what I love about this fragrance. You get a nice full blast. Um, I do appreciate that. And um, I'm wearing this today. As per my last video, I was actually wearing this fragrance in that video and I just felt like, you know what, let me also tell you guys a little bit about what I was wearing that same day and you know, break it out into a, a different video. So Burberry Touch For Men, I'm gonna to put some more on my hand and we'll talk about it a little bit. Yeah, great fragrance, guys. So this is a really good light spring and summertime fragrance. You're gonna smell, it's gonna open really nice. I think uh, there's a little bit of pepper in there that you'll smell. You'll smell a little bit of spiciness in the beginning, and then it just starts to get really nice and kind of like floral and sweet. Um, so yeah, the, the white pepper really has a big role in the beginning of this fragrance, but it actually is a nice touch to it. Again, no pun intended. <laughs> But uh, it's a good fragrance. The first time I got this fragrance, guys, was in college. Um, someone I was dating at the time gifted this to me for my birthday at that time. And I'm not sure if, maybe that's a reason why I'm not like too crazy about this fragrance. Honestly, I wish I would have bought a smaller bottle. But it just, it's, it's too simple, I guess, for me. I mean, it's, it's a good fragrance, okay? It's just like, I don't know, it's just, you know, it's easy going, it's an easy reach. You know, there's nothing special going on. It, it's, it opens up, it has some, I think, Violet leaf and some mandarin orange. Um, we'll talk about the notes in a little bit and some white pepper in the beginning, but I, I get a lot of the pepper with the sweetness starting to come through and it has a, a very rich, um, I think there's some talka bean in the base. So this is classified as a woody, musky floral fragrance. So really nice fragrance guys, guys and um, guys and gals. And um, you can go ham on the sprays with this and I don't think you'll hurt an eye. Um, a fly, excuse me. You, you won't, you won't hurt a single person. So, good fragrance, Burberry Touch. 
let's go ahead and talk about the official notes and just some general info and I'll send you guys on your way. Okay guys, so for the official notes, here's what we're gonna have. By the way, um, this is actually a really good thing. Uh, I went for the official notes on Burberry's website and I also went to Fragrance Good. You guys know I do that. And um, the notes are actually the same, they line up. So I'm glad that happens because sometimes Fragrantica might have a note or two that's not on the official website. Sometimes the official website barely has anything. So the notes are pretty much the same guys. So we can trust and confidence that these notes are correct. So let's dive in. In the top, we're gonna have some Artemisia, some Violet Leaf, and some Mandarin Orange. In the heart, we're gonna have some Nutmeg. That's gonna be some of that spicy, sweet um, characteristic. It goes well, in my opinion, with the white pepper. Virginia cedar and white pepper, as I just mentioned. Finally, in the base, we're gonna have some tonka bean, some vetiver, and some white musk. Okay, guys, so this fragrance came out in 2000. Can you believe it? Two, like basically 20 years ago. I mean, sheesh. But anyway, this fragrance came out in 2000, guys. The nose behind this fragrance is Jean Pierre Bethuart, or Beth, Bethuart. Um, hopefully, I'm pronouncing that correctly and it's a really nice woody, flory, floral, musky fragrance. I love it. I'm gonna grab the bottle again. Um, I love the design, um, really simple, but it's a good fragrance, guys. I wanna say Siage, in my opinion, uh, this is a little closer to the skin that it sits, and I don't think you're gonna get a beast mode projection. You know, um, in terms of longevity, I don't think it's gonna last that long, in my opinion. Like me wearing it today, maybe like two hours or so. It, maybe that's why I don't like this fragrance. It doesn't last that long, it doesn't project a lot. It's a nice skin scent to wear. And um, you know, people will get like maybe some small wafts, but it, it's not gonna do what, I don't know, what's another good Beast Mode Summer fragrance? Like Galloway, right, from Perfumes de Marley. It is not gonna do what Galloway is gonna do. But this was gonna get you through most of the summer and spring if you want something simple, guys. And it's very affordable. I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can get yourself a bottle. And um, yeah, I kind of wish I had less, but because of that, I go a little ham with it. I spray it on all over the place, man. I'm even gonna spray some more right now just cause, you know, it's a, it's a nice fragrance. It's good stuff. Well, guys, this is my review of, again, Burberry Touch for Men. Thank you so much for joining me today with my review. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know how I can make this video as well as future videos better. Once again, this is Kaz with Perfumes by Genesis, AKA PBG. Thanks so much again, guys. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Take care.